This smoked sausage with rice and beans meal prep is the fastest meal prep recipe I have in my collection. You can finish it in the time it takes to cook the rice and pair that rice with some black beans, shredded carrots, chopped broccoli, and the sausage, and you've got yourself lunches for the week in less than 30 minutes. Just to prove to you how fast this one is, we're gonna time it. As I start, it's 1.59 p.m. Let's get after it. The rate limiter for speed in this recipe is going to be the rice. Everything else can be finished while the rice is cooking, so get the rice going first. You're gonna need two and a half cups or 375 grams of cooked rice at the end, so prep accordingly. Depending on what kind of rice you use, that could be anywhere between two and three cups of dry rice. Wash it and rinse it until the water runs clear, and then get it started in your rice cooker or your pot. If you're one of those people that buys the pre-cooked rice, this meal could probably be completely finished in only 10 minutes or so. Next up, we're gonna shred some carrots using a food processor or a box grater if you don't have a food processor. We're going to be using two to three medium carrots or 300 grams worth. Throw those bad cats down into the blade and shred them into smaller pieces. If you don't wanna deal with this step at all, you can absolutely purchase the pre-shredded matchstick carrots in the store, which before I got a food processor is what I would do. But now that I have one, I prefer to use it because it only takes a few seconds, it's cheaper to do myself, and the carrots taste better. Once you're finished with your carrots, you can set them aside for later. Next, you're gonna take the top off your can of black beans and drain away any of the liquid. I'm using one 15 ounce can or 425 grams of black beans. And in addition to draining away the liquid, I also like to rinse them a few times just to get that bean syrup off of the beans. Now let's talk sausage. Any smoked sausage will work for this recipe. In the past, I've always used two 14 ounce turkey kielbasas from Hillshire Farm, but my store in Texas didn't have any of those. My HEB did have these jalapeno turkey sausages that I thought looked quite nice, and even though they're a couple ounces short of my preferred weight, they're still going to get the job done. If you can't find the turkey kielbasa either, just look for any kind of smoked turkey sausage. This one had 70 calories per two ounces. I cut those sausages into bite-sized pieces on a bias to create more surface area that can develop color in the pan. Then in a dry skillet over medium heat, I add those pieces and try to arrange them in the pan with one of their flat sides facing down. Even though this is turkey sausage that is much leaner than a pork or a beef one, it should still release enough fat that you don't need to use any extra oil in the cooking process. After a few minutes, you should start to see good browning on the surface that is in direct contact with the pan. This kind of color that you see here is what we are looking for. Once you reach this point, you can turn the pieces over to the other side and continue with the cooking process. If you somehow come across a super lean sausage and even after cooking for a bit, you are saying to yourself, wow, this pan is still so dry, then you probably should add a bit of oil to help with the cooking process. Once the sausage is done, place one pound or 454 grams of frozen broccoli into a microwave safe dish. Now I think it's best to use either baby florets if your store has them or the frozen and chopped broccoli. The regular sized large florets are too big and let's just call it like it is. It's gross. The smaller the better so you can more easily hide it among the other ingredients. While that broccoli is thawing in the microwave, get yourself five meal prep containers and prepare them to be filled. This recipe is going to make five meals worth of food so everything can be divided evenly between the five containers. If you want to weigh and measure everything to be exact, have at it. It's not worth the effort to me so I just eyeball everything and guess what? By the end of the week, once I've eaten all the meals, it all equals out to be exactly the same anyway. Each dish also gets about a half a cup of cooked rice. Now this meal is fairly light. It's under 500 calories total, which makes it a solid option for if you are cutting or trying to lose weight. But if you just wanna use this for a regular meal and you know it's not gonna fill you up, doubling the rice and beans is an easy way to add extra calories. I've just been adding a granola bar in addition to these meals and finding myself completely satisfied when I'm done eating. Now that all my prep work is completely done, it's 2.29 p.m., 30 minutes on the dot. Each one of these smoked sausage with rice and beans bowls has 467 calories and rate around 32 grams of protein. If you did want to double the rice to one cup and use two cans of black beans, you're looking at 628 calories and 38 grams of protein. Once all of your meals have had the chance to cool down a bit, you can toss on the lids and move them into your refrigerator. They will last in the fridge for up to five days. And now for reheating. Just like with almost every other meal that I prep, I reheat them in the microwave. I go in one minute intervals and stir each minute and continue heating until the food is hot. One of my least favorite questions to answer is, how long should I microwave this for? The answer is, you go until it's hot. One of my college roommates used to ask me this daily and it would drive me up a wall. I eat this meal with yellow mustard on top. Sausage and mustard is a wonderful combination to me. I didn't mention anything about seasoning the broccoli, carrots, rice, and beans earlier, so if you didn't do that, it's a good idea to add some salt and pepper now. When I first published this recipe back in 2018, I got a number of comments on Instagram saying that sausage isn't healthy and processed meat causes cancer. Dude. Shut up. You know what else causes cancer? The sun. Are you going to stop going outside? I hate the word healthy. Some of you may have noticed that I don't ever say it and that's on purpose. It's an ambiguous word with no real meaning. It's undefinable. It depends entirely on your goals and what you personally define to be in support of the life that you want to live. Now, 
I unofficially hold the world record for the fastest mile on a Razor scooter, and I've declared myself to be both an NFL and NBA free agent, meaning that I am a professional athlete. What is considered healthy for me, a world record holding NBA and NFL star, probably wouldn't be the healthiest thing for a 98-year-old grandma that's seconds away from croaking it. My point being, healthy is different for everybody. If you don't like the idea of eating sausage because it's a processed meat, then you can swap it for something else. It's not going to hurt anything. But I eat this meal maybe once or twice a year, and I'm going to be okay. The written version of this smoked sausage with rice and beans recipe is published on my website, and I've included a link to that page in the description of this video. Having a couple of quick recipes like this that only take 30 minutes to provide you with work lunches for the week are so nice to have. We all have those weeks where we don't want to spend any time in the kitchen on Sundays, and recipes like this one can keep you on track to success with very little effort. If you decide to try this one out, take a picture and send it to me on Instagram at the Meal Prep Manual. See you next week.